Today we're going to be talking about a popular electric toothbrush that's been making waves in the market. The Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean 9000 from Costco. We all know that oral hygiene is super important, but is a $300 toothbrush worth the investment over the other options sold at Costco? This video will be sharing with you our thoughts and experiences using the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean toothbrushes so that you'll have all the information you need to make an informed decision. So if you're looking to purchase a new electric toothbrush or considering to upgrade your current one, stick around and find out if the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean from Costco is really worth it. Costco sells a two pack of brushes for $300. Now in my book, if I'm paying $150, $50 per brush, it better be the most amazing toothbrush in the world. Now, if you would have asked me two months ago if I would have bought a $300 toothbrush, I would have said, hell no. But happy wife, happy life. I wanted it, so we bought it. We're going to be using the old Philips Sonicare as a point of comparison. Now, I've had this for about seven to eight years. And I've never had any issues with the dentist. And so it makes me wonder how much better is the new one compared to the old one? This product got 4.6 stars on Costco.com. That's pretty good. Now here's what it comes with. It comes with the toothbrush body. This one is nice and light. It has like a soft mat, nice rubber feel. It's also thinner so that it feels good in your hand. The two buttons here are the power button and the second button to adjust the different settings and mode of the toothbrush. And it also has an LED lighting so you can see exactly the intensity of your toothbrush setting and also the different modes. Now this bundle comes with two C3 plaque control brush heads. It's supposed to be their most advanced brush head and remove 10 times the amount of plaque than a normal toothbrush. The brush head is actually a smart head because it syncs with your toothbrush to give you brush head replacement reminders, pressure sensors, and it also has a chip for brushing, which automatically selects the recommended brushing mode and an intensity level for the ultimate results. Brush head features are like a nice to have, not a need to have. Honestly, I could go without them. And there's other toothbrushes out there that have the same technology, so I'm not too impressed. So it also comes with a charger. It comes with this fancy charging base and fancy charging glass. All you have to do is just place your toothbrush into the glass while it's on top of the charging base and it charges. It has a really nice design, it's very aesthetic, but if this glass breaks, there is no backup. Overall, the design is really nice and I think the aesthetic is one of the reasons why it costs so much more. It also comes with this travel case. And this was a big selling point for me because I love that it gave you this portable charging travel case so that when you go on vacation or you're gonna be away for a long time, you'll always have your toothbrush. There is one thing I really hate about this charging case and I'll tell you a little bit later in the video what it is. Now let's talk performance. At $300, the expectation is really high. I expect it to be incredible at cleaning my teeth. Movement on this brush head goes from side to side and actually goes 31,000 brush strokes in a minute, which is actually insane. When you brush too hard, there is a temporary movement change to let you know that you are brushing way too hard. I think this is a really good feature if you have sensitive teeth or sensitive gums. So I've tried all the modes. They all seem really powerful, but I don't really notice a difference. But I've found that in practice, I've only been using the regular cleaning mode, which is something that they even recommend on their website. This has three different power levels, low, medium, high. I personally use the high setting. It feels like a power washer. Washing through my teeth, my teeth feel so clean after I'm done. It honestly feels like I just stepped out of my dentist's office and had a very thorough teeth cleaning. What's great about this is that if you have sensitive teeth, like my dad, he prefers the lowest level. It's gentle, it feels great, and he still gets the same results. I'll admit, it is really, really powerful. Because of that, it moves around the water and the toothbrush around the crevices of my teeth a lot better than my old toothbrush. Now let's talk battery life. At $300, I expect a premium battery and charging experience, which means I expect the battery to last a really long time, and I expect the charging to be really fast. For a full battery, you need to charge it for 24 hours. Now it says the battery lasts for three weeks at a time, which means charges for 24 hours and it lasts for three whole weeks. So it does check that mark as far as a premium battery and charging experience. It charges really quickly and it lasts for a really long time. The portable charging case is a key premium feature that makes this stand out against all the other toothbrushes that are Costco. I love the case because it's sturdy. I love the magnetic closure component and plus you can charge it wherever you go. This is so great if you travel often because you can bring your toothbrush with you and you never have to compromise on teeth cleaning. All right, so I mentioned this earlier. There's one thing that really grinds my gears about this case is that it doesn't hold its own charge. At $300, I felt like a high-end travel case, it should hold its own charge so that whenever I just throw the toothbrush in, it starts charging. 
So another premium feature on this brush is the app and the Bluetooth, which helps contribute to the overall brushing experience. The app tracks your brush trends, it tells you the frequency of your brushing sessions, and it tells you if you're applying way too much pressure when you're brushing, and it also gives you the average time per session. Now, do you use the app? I'll be honest with you. I do not use the app and never download it. don't even know what the app is called, so no, I do not. I downloaded the app and I started using it for like the first three or four days and I thought it was kind of cool. Then I realized that it was only like basic data and I didn't really care about. It wasn't compelling enough for me to go to the app on a daily basis. And so in short, like I don't use the app anymore. You know, it'd be really nice if it told you like where exactly in your mouth you are not brushing. And so maybe it'll give you a notification to say, hey, maybe you should brush more at the top left of your teeth. Yeah. I just wish it provided more notifications to us yeah. so that we could be prompted to have better, healthier habits. So overall, they're marketing this to be a high-end brush with a nice charging case and a connected app that will help promote good brushing habits. In our opinion, what makes this a premium brush for the $300 is the aesthetics of the brush including the brush itself, the charging glass and the charging case, and the strength of the brush, and just the overall charging experience. So here's our final take. This toothbrush is great for three types of people. It's for those who are hyper obsessed with their oral health. It's a powerful toothbrush. It has an app that helps you track your toothbrush activity. It's great for travelers because it comes with this awesome portable traveling case. And it also has a great battery life, which lasts for about three weeks. And some may just want this for the status. This is a prestigious high-end toothbrush. It is the best looking toothbrush out there on the market in my opinion. I think mine is really pretty. Joel has a nice black one. I have like mine, it's like a soft matte white with some rose gold detailing. Also comes with a really fancy charging glass which you don't see other brands carry. Now is this brush worth $300 or $150 each? In my opinion, no, this is not worth the $300. The key premium features that come along with this, I don't think is worth justifying the price tag, especially when you compare it to other options in Costco, which are $150 or even $200 less than this. I think you're better off buying the cheaper option and saving that extra $150 or $200 to buy extra hot dogs and pizzas at the food court. People in real life, when they're waking up early in the morning or right before they go to sleep, they don't want to be bothered with different apps and Bluetooth and stats and bells and whistles. They just want something that will clean their teeth, that works and will keep the dentist away. If my eight year old Philips Sonicare can keep the dentist away and keep my teeth nice and pearly white, then there are definitely other new electronic toothbrushes out there that will do the exact same thing. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you like the video, please give us a like. And if you're living the crazy Costco life, make sure you subscribe to our channel and watch our next video right over here.